Hi and welcome back to Carolina Week. I'm weather forecaster Mallory Nichols. Well this past week all we've been seeing is some cloudy skies with little sunshine and a lot of rain and that's good for our drought situation but that sunshine is going to return and we're going to see a lot of it for the rest of the week. With those uh, return with the return of the sunshine we're going to be seeing some increase in those temperatures as well which is a lot different than what we had yesterday and today and then later we're going to take a look are we going to see a little bit of ease in our restrictions from what we received past week? We'll take a look at those late lake levels in a little bit. If we head to the satellite, uh, south or the U.S. satellite and radar, you can see there was that system that moved off the coast right there. You can see a few of the clouds associated with what we had yesterday. But what's keeping all these clouds over top of us right now and a chance for some sprinkles later on is this low pressure system sitting down to the south of us, southeast of us right now. That, um, the low pressure right there is causing circulation around it to bring in some clouds and a little bit of moisture with that for the rest of tonight. But that's going to move out for tomorrow and then we'll see a little bit of those rays peek through. And if we take a look out to the west, you can see there are a few other systems out there as well that we'll need to keep an eye on as we head into the later part of this week. But, but, but for the most part, nothing too uh, important for us for the week. And then if we take a closer look at the southeast radar, satellite and radar, you can see that system again a little bit closer, start to push out. And then if we take an even closer look at Raleigh, you can see the cloud cover sitting over the triangle area right now is starting to push out a little bit, but we stu still do have a little bit for the rest of the evening. So hopefully we'll start to see that clear out and that sunshine return. And then if we head to the current surface map, you can see that low pressure system I was talking about sitting down to the south of us right there. It's bringing with it that moisture. But nothing to, too concerning for us. We're going to be seeing a lot of that just start to push out into the evening. And then back to the west of us, you can see we do have this pretty tough looking uh, low pressure system sitting out there. But as we head into uh, Tuesday's surface map, you can see that start to push out a little bit to the north of us. So not much to worry about with that system. But we do need to take a look at this low pressure system sitting out west because as we head into Wednesday, it starts to set up pretty nicely headed in our direction. But nothing for this week just to worry about that maybe headed into the weekend. And then if we take a look at the four-day forecast, you're going to see a lot different than what we have been seeing, a lot of sunshine all throughout the week, and then those temperatures starting to increase. And then if you see by Friday, those temperatures are even starting to get into the 80s. So pretty nice weather right there, and then those lows increasing as well. Then if we take a look at the lake levels, you can see all the lakes around the Triangle, Carr, Jordan Falls, and Gaston are above what they're normally uh, supposed to be at this time of the year. So a lot different from what we have been seeing and great news for maybe uh, an ease on water restrictions. So Definitely. And you know, Mallory, I just noticed in the dormitories here at UNC, they've put timers in our showers. So maybe that's not a necessary precaution for well, us. Well, I mean, even if we are easing on restrictions, we still do want to save water in case it happens again. So that's important. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Mallory. Last week we told you about our friend Uma, and we're pleased to tell you she's found a new home. Now let's tell you about this week's featured pet. Meet Casanova, a charming young cat who's full of energy. This ladies man loves the spotlight, but when he's not busy striking a pose, he likes to spend his time playing with toys. He came to the shelter about a month ago, and now he's looking for a warm lap to call his own. You can visit our website, Caroline Week. CarolinaWeek.org to find out how you can adopt Casanova or any of the other animals at the shelter. Well, if you're a Tar Heel or a Tar Heel fan, this weekend was not the weekend you were hoping for. Sportscaster Marissa May is here and joins us with some of the sad details. Yes, this weekend was definitely not what we all expected in regards to both of our basketball teams. Coming up in sports, it's the end of the world as we know it. The basketball world, that is.